It's been a long road uh, to this day. We've talked a lot about election risk over the past few months, but uh, we are about to witness what America's famous for, and that is a peaceful, orderly transfer of power. Look, I think that we're all beleaguered. Uh, I think that an orderly uh, transfer of power, uh, coupled with a well-defined plan to give us vaccines as they roll out, will make it so that this market can go up tremendously. Uh, everything else, I think, is just uh, I'm not saying it, it's it, it, irrelevant, but you can't get this economy open until we figure out how to get the vaccines from Pfizer and from Moderna into our arms. And once the president's in and he has a defined plan on that, David, I think there will be rejoicing right now. It's catastrophic and chaotic and anything that indicates order will send this market higher, David. Well, he's talked about 100 million uh, vaccinations in 100 days. Yeah. And that's been the uh, that's been the target now. And so he will be held to that. But to your point, Jim, uh, there's going to have to be some significant changes, it would seem, in the way the vaccine is administered if they're going to be able to successfully hit those targets consistently. A million people a day. Where are all the organizations that came on and told us that we could just get appointments? What happened to them? What? Why are they not coming on? Why isn't Walgreens coming on and saying, hey, listen, man, sorry. How about McKesson? Where is the bottleneck? We know that they were making millions. If we were to go follow a vial from Pfizer to wherever the heck it goes, I think we would find that it is taking a circuitous route, Carl, that does not put it in our arms. And if it did, and we did not have to rely on all sorts of people who didn't ever uh, sign up for us, I think that what would happen is people would say, you know what, now there's a path. Now we can get there. And that would be an incredible part of a new inauguration, new president. Jim, I am curious um, if we are going with the narrative, of course, that this is now Joe Biden's pandemic. How much time does the market allow him to demonstrate that daily vaccination rates are, in fact, accelerating? Is this a thing the market's willing to wait a month for? Uh, obviously, the administration is going to try to uh, lower some expectations and say, look, we've got to get into the agencies first and find out exactly where we are uh, with the data that we've maybe not been able to see in the transition. I think that because of the uh, overpromise of the hundred million, I think that it's going to be a clock that is unlike any we've ever seen, where there is a belief that right now there is a plan. David, when you set out those expectations, the uh, I think the clock starts at noon, and it is not going to be anything that can be avoided. It is going to be front and center more than anything involving cooperation with Congress, more than these executive orders that are going to maybe return uh, the, I don't know, how about the uh, Arctic National Wildlife? Is, that, is we going to keep Exxon from there? I mean, you know what it is, David. It is clock ticking so that our grandparents, our parents, and us are going to get something in our arms, and we're going to return to the way things were, not exactly in 2018, but close. Um, I'll take 2019, oh, well, for that matter. Boom. That's a boom year. Yeah. Uh, Jim, we focused on it. We will continue to uh, in terms of the rollout of the vaccine, and you're right to obviously point that. And by the way, yesterday during testimony, a number of, I mean, Janet Yellen, a number of uh, people pointed to that as well as being the key. First thing to deal with is the pandemic and then everything else will follow. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.